Welcome to CNE here where you come for all of your media needs. My name is Ray. It's your boy Nikki Tay Tay. And today we are reviewing Halloween. Ain't that Jason? They all the same. Directed by David Gordon Green, starring Jamie Lee Curtis. Halloween. Uh, a recalibration. If you will, they have been not a reboot, not a reboot, not a remake, not a remake. Okay. It is a correction to the franchise. They basically said, "Hey, all the other movies we made were crap, and some of them were. This is our attempt to give a true sequel to the original film." So DC not doing this, right? No. Oh, okay. They need a correction to keep going. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so the film has Jamie Lee Curtis reprising her role. Uh, we also get Nick Castle back, the original. Michael Myers. It's a great film for people who are in love with the Halloween series. Jamie Lee Curtis is back and she is reprising her role as Lois Strode. And I think this is important because if you want to get a recalibration, a reboot, a rematch, a retelling of the story, whatever you want to put it, whatever you want to put on it, she has to be in the movie because she is such a focal point to the Halloween franchise. And just like we've been saying all year, this is a year of women. <laughs> and Jamie Lee Curtis was a badass in this movie. She kind of put me in the mind frame of Sarah Connor from the Terminator series. And that's how badass she was in this movie. She didn't let the fear of what happened years before stop her from grooming herself into a trained killer. 40 years, to be exact. Uh, this film is supposed to be 40 years after the events that happened in the original film. Uh, I guess that's believable. You know, Jamie Lee Curtis is definitely much older than when she was as a teen. The real question is, for the fans, does Halloween, the new one, deliver something that is respectable for the franchise? Uh, I would say, yeah. I would say this movie is very similar to its original. Uh, definitely does a great job of paying homage uh, down to the cinematic score, the look, the feel, the suspense. It's all there. Uh, it didn't go too hokey with jump scares. It did a good job of making Michael Myers scary because that is what people enjoy when they go to see a Halloween film. But I think that it really does pose a question. Is slashing or slashers a dead genre? Oh, absolutely. Because even as good as this movie was. Oh, it's dead. It's still is dead. <laughs> I guess it is dead. And I am happy that we got to see another Halloween movie because it just cements the fact that slashers are dead. As good as this movie was. <laughs> as good as this movie was, I don't wanna I don't wanna let people think that this movie wasn't good. But this movie just lets you know that that genre is no longer relevant to I guess society today. It's just not scary anymore. You know, we live in a world where School shootings are the norm, and... And Donald Trump is the president. Donald Trump is the president. Like, things are already scary enough. It's already scary. You know, a guy <laughs> wielding a kitchen blade, that's supposed to scare me in 2018? Eh, come on, Mike. You gotta come a lot harder than that, buddy. At least Jason has a machete, you know? Now, let's talk about the plot of the movie. Outside of the early uh, things that were done in the beginning of the movie, all of it really was irrelevant. They kind of just built up the lore of what's been going on for the last 40 years. So I guess as far as the information purpose, there was purposeful, but the characters and everybody that was involved was purposeless. And I don't want to pick this movie apart for its plot because in a scary movie, you really don't have to have a stellar plot as long as you deliver really good scares. And one thing this movie did deliver very, 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 very well was how suspenseful it was. It was very suspenseful. And they did a good job of having Michael Myers build the suspense. Even before maybe some of the lackluster kills, he did build the suspense of, I'm coming, I'm here, and you're going to die before the scene ends. Like you said, they definitely did build the suspense. Uh, and the kills were a bit lackluster. Uh, they definitely were gruesome, though. They definitely were bloody. I wish this movie would have... Uh, Got his hands a little more dirty, you know, showed me a little more, 
uh, gore, just a bit, not too much. You don't want to oversell it, but just a bit more. Show me that Mike has really been missing, you know, killing since he's been locked up. I kind of wanted him to oversell it, though. Yeah. I think I wanted more of like the taking a knife and going all the way down from their spine to their feet and just, I, I kind of wanted it to be more like that sound, that sound gruesome. That sound beastly. I wanted it to be more gruesome, you know what I mean? Like, he did kill somebody in very spectacular ways. It wasn't just, you know, simple. But I did want it to be more, like I wanted him to be covered in blood when he got done with this movie. Oh, yeah. And it wasn't. I guess that's what I wanted. Maybe that might have been too much for other people, so I guess that's just a personal opinion. But overall, this movie did, was really good. They had a really good acting. I think everybody delivered their lines very well. Everybody was believable for the most part. Some of the characters were not needed. Some of the subplots, like with the granddaughter, uh, was not needed. I really didn't need to know the aspects of her life. It just didn't play a role into Michael Myers. It really didn't play a role into Michael Myers. It almost was filler. I think the movie might have been a little bit better if they shaved off about 30 minutes of all of the things that we really didn't care about. Yes, the beginning, like I said earlier, might have been needed. But other than that, let's get to it. Let's just get to it. Yeah, just put Mike in a mask and have him walk slowly behind people. That's what we want. Why do we want it? We don't know, but we want it. Halloween. Uh, this year, I reach into my goodie bag and pull out a trick. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Where are you going with this? It's a seven. It's a seven. Yeah, it's good, but it's mild. It's average. It is not anything close to what we've gotten in the Conjuring universe. I mean, those movies are terrifying. Those are good. Those are spectacular, right? Give us more. We want to see the Crooked Man. Uh, keep the Nun, though. Uh, Halloween. Is, I mean, it's good. It pays homage to the old movies but guess what that means it feels like an old movie i can definitely say that this movie was definitely worth watching did they kill it no they didn't kill it but the movie was very serviceable i can almost say that it was a good recalibration of the series i kind of think that they needed this you know they kind of needed this so oh so they're gonna make another one I wouldn't take it that far. But what I will say is I would definitely give this movie a 7.5. And I would say that this movie is worth watching, especially for Halloween. And for anybody that loved the nostalgic Halloween film or the nostalgic slasher film, this movie is definitely worth checking out. But I don't think we need any more slashing in the future. That completes the review for Halloween. Definitely glad that we got this versus like a recalibration of the Leprechaun, right? Uh, tell us how you enjoyed the film. I'm sure a lot of you will say, oh, this is great. The slashers are coming back. You know, this is amazing. Slashers aren't coming back. You know, if we see another Freddy movie, people won't rave about it. I'm tired of seeing a reboot of Friday the 13th. What other slashers are there? Oh, Chucky is coming out. Candyman's coming They're doing out. all Candyman. I guess the slashers are back. <laughs> the slashers are back. We're in the year of the slashers. <laughs> Halloween kicked it off. Look at that. We <laughs> just talked myself out of the thing I was going to say. Um, as always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know how you enjoyed the movie. Uh, because, again, you diehard fans, slashers are back. Uh... <laughs> Make sure you hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all of our reviewing content. And as always, don't forget, you've seen it here. This is Halloween.